Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flames Merge and Twin Flame Body. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Today, I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. You know, this is today is a day where there's always a lot of mixed emotions. Um, there's sometimes a sense that I'm okay or I'm okay with it or I will live subliminally through other people and I'm okay with it. But many people actually miss what this alignment and many of the alignments are bringing. And it's not easy. Sometimes this is a not so easy day and sometimes the weather intervenes and creates a storm like it did in Chicago, that huge storm. But people can kind of blame the weather and say, hey, uh, I guess we wouldn't have been going out anyway because, after all, the weather. But Valentine's Day isn't the only day that you're supposed to be in love. You're supposed to feel loved every day, every single day. And what I have noticed is that there's been uh, some things that are preceding this that really are kind of like the, the straws that are breaking the camel's back, there's a lot of little nitpicky things that seem to keep adding up, irritating people, making them feel maybe not quite so loved. Some people are feeling, uh, you know, love of a different kind. You know, they're able to say, well, I love my spouse. I love my kids. There's actually a TV commercial where... Other languages do have other words for the names of love when it pertains to something else. But in English, we have this word love. And love stands for every kind of love. And that's part of the confusion because I'm speaking strictly of loving love, romantic love, passionate love. The kind that you're really here for. So happy Valentine's today to you because I want to tell you, Love is here for you, but this includes healthy love. So you may not be finished with some things. In fact, the majority of people are not. You may think you are, but some things are just starting for you so that you can get healthy, you can get healthy in love, you can have healthy relationships, and you can have other lasting healthy relationships. Healthy relationships that have to do with brotherly love, familial love. I'm here to help you recover from wounds, the wounds to love. I help people with some of the other things when the people around them feel like they're pulling them down. Have you had this feeling where it feels like other people around you seem to want to pull you back, pull you down, trip you up, and they're just wearing and tearing on you? What's that all about? Well, believe it or not, that's the way things always have been. But it has a lot to do with how things get on your nerves now and levels of your healing. There are levels of your healing that are at the cosmic level that I know how to help with. And not a lot of people know how to help with this. In fact, I help at dimensional levels that time has forgotten except for your body and how things feel to you. This is why many times people will sometimes get hung up and say, you know, I thought I healed from that. Why am I making another go around of it? So I am here to help people integrate their connections to get connected, to sustain and maintain and really build up again. And I mean, build up a level of what they're really here for. You could say this is not for the faint of heart, but it's never really been for the faint of heart. You're here not as a shrinking violet. You're here because you wanted to be new. And both of you wanted to be new. So I'm here to help with the love that lasts and is self-sustaining. And that means no more codependencies. Codependent behavior is falling by the wayside. It has to. It doesn't serve a purpose anymore. We've had an entire decade of getting out of karmic stuff, not just, you know, a karmic marriage or something like that, 
but all kinds of karmic stuff. And there's still a lot that needs to happen. And it's not just at the surface level. It has to be self-sustaining, which means it's deep and it's high. And I help people with that. So if you're feeling that somehow love keeps eluding you, because I felt like that. I had relationships that would just go away after three months. I didn't understand what was that all about. What was that? Was that a hit and run? Was that some kind of, you know, love version of a drive-by shooting? And when some of these special days would come around, there really wasn't uh, the same joy that, you know, is sort of put forth. And I'm not talking about, you know, just the commercial side of it where there's things that are being sold. What I'm talking about is genuine joy in celebrating love. Love is what should be celebrated. Being in love is what should be celebrated. So I'm going to help steer you here to focus on being aware that, yes, self-sustaining love where you love yourself, you love, that sounds like a cliche, right? How do I love myself? Okay. When you do the next pieces of this and connect to your high heart and get each other connected, because it does start up through one person. You may think that because your throat opened that that's it, but there is more to it than that. This needs to be love that last because it's sustaining you from a completely new level. It needs to be self-sustaining because you're really only relying on each other for, you know, those parts of it. So what else? Love that magnetizes everything, everything you want, all the joys in life, all the fun, all of the cards and flowers, all of the romance, all of the fun times, all of the intimate times, all of the pillow talk, the snuggling, the pet words, the key phrases, just the things that are significant to you two. And you may have those, but if it's one-sided, sometimes it just doesn't feel as great as when, you know, you're speaking your own language. Twin flames speak their own language and they get each other. They don't wait really for things to get them. They get each other. That's one of the real telltale signs. What else? Love is patient and love is kind to paraphrase. So let's say you have some people that meet, okay? And they meet and he's like just awestruck. He's like, whoa, she's a total package. She's got everything going on. Oh my gosh. He feels the energy. And what does he start to do? He's like, oh my God. Oh, I don't know. I don't feel worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Now, she's not aware that some of this is happening behind the scenes. She just sees him and she's like, he's kind of cute. What is he staring at me like that for? It looks like I've grown a third head. I don't know why. Hmm. And they part ways. And they're in some form of separation. But guess what happens? Oh, they come face to face. She's like, he's like, hi, how are you? Oh, I remember you. Yeah, um, this was a few years ago, but somehow, yes, I remember your face. You have a very memorable face. Well, not everyone really thinks that. I tend to blend in with the crowd. Yeah, but weren't you like, I don't know. I, I thought you were into some other stuff. Well... I really um, grew since you last saw me. Now, what he wants to say is, oh, my God, I was so grateful that I met you because I don't know what happened, but all these energies started up, and I didn't know what it was. I just started to do things better. Yes, I started to do things better. I was inspired. And what he wants to say is, I felt like somehow you inspired me to be better. But what he says to her is, well, you know, um, I started some things up and I started developing these recipes and things are really taking off and I'm a chef and I 
you know, started someplace and I really enjoy it a lot. And she's like, wow, that's really cool. I had no idea you were, had these talents. Well, we really didn't talk much. We just sort of, I don't know. I don't know. It was very spontaneous. Well, I'm so glad I bumped into you. You, you look so prosperous and, and I don't know, responsible somehow. I really, I don't, there's a glow around you. Well, there's a glow that you put there. Oh, you're so romantic. Well, somehow you seem to bring out the romance in me. I wanted to hand you a heart worth breaking. That's how I felt. I wanted to swim in your divine. Look, I even got a watch. I know it's time. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's saying the words here. Girls, what should I do? And they're starting to kind of be on the same wavelength. Now on her side, what has she done? She actually started to find out what were some of these energies. And there was alignments. Now I've had this happen with many people that I've worked with. I actually had a couple who got married last summer and they invited me to their wedding, but it was 3,000 miles away. I couldn't go. But there was a lot going on with them. And what they were coming to me about was not that they didn't love each other. They couldn't figure out how to get past some of the stuff, how to get past the arguments, how to stop seeming like they were self-sabotaging a relationship that they both wanted. And on top of that, because of all the energies, they both felt very overwhelmed. So I said to the gentleman in the relationship, whoops, I said to him, she's feeling overwhelmed. I said three words. And do you know what? For whatever reason, but the reason was love, he started to kick it into high gear. Now, this happens as the result of engaging your high heart energies. And you get the guidance of what should you do, where should you go, how do you do it, with whom, who do you collaborate with. And this is the love that magnetizes everything for you. So how do you feel? Are you hurt? Are your feelings hurt? I understand how that feels. I've had my feelings hurt. I'm not up here because I haven't been through this. I've been through this and I'm, you know, I'm a person that likes to hang on to things. And it's very hard for me to let go in a healthy way. But I've done it and I know how to do it and I know how to help people with it. And I'm talking about full removal. We have to get this past the point of forgiveness. Because what if she had reacted differently? Okay, she didn't have to have a reaction. There they were, and she's like, oh my God, you're a creep. Why are you looking at me? You're just so, I don't know. Well, your skin makes me smile. What? That's just a weird thing to say. Are you being a weirdo? No, no. What's wrong? What, what's wrong with smiling at someone? Oh my goodness, I can't do anything right. I might as well go KYS, which stands for, as the teenagers know, kill yourself. And we can't have any of that anymore. We have to have the love that magnetizes everything, the love that lasts and is self-sustaining and is healthy. Note the words that I'm saying here. I want to remind you about what love is, okay? Love is sensitive, it's tender, it's non-critical. In other words, if you catch yourself that you want to like blurt out things, catch yourself, pause a minute. Don't get critical right away. Love is supportive. Love is appreciative. Love is encouraging. Love is motivating. He found motivation. He found her to be an inspiration. Now, if you're not with someone or you haven't met someone, how do you get inspired? The word is up here. The emotion is up here. Love. I help you get the deep love in so that you get inspired because that's your love that belongs to you. It's from your higher levels. Love is soft and love is strong all at the same time. Love is sensual and love is luscious and passionate. 
and redeeming and reconciling and all of those things you want. And so these are, this is love from the multiple heart levels, but especially the high heart, not just the heart here. Are you feeling heart stressed? Are you feeling heart worn? Are you feel world weary, battle worn, any of those kind of emotions? It's time to come see me to have me help you by shifting your energies. What love is not? Love is not ignorant. You can't just go, whatever, whatever. I don't care about that. Of course we care. Of course you care. That's the reason you're watching this video. You can't have this I don't care attitude. If enough people didn't care, nothing would get accomplished. It is not left-minded, which is analytical versus feeling. And too many people are doing that. Too many people are trying to use that part of themselves that a lot of people refer to as the masculine mind and slice it and dice it and label it and categorize it. And let me just give you an example. If you had someone that, you know, was talking about their kid and was just that person was saying, oh, my God, my kid's my kid's like a retard. My kid's just not that sharp. They can't see well. Uh, they're, I don't know, yeah, kind of retarded. But then you saw the child and you realized that child has Down syndrome, okay? All those things are true. But that doesn't negate the love that is there to help that child sustain. And sometimes you're looking at people that have been so deeply damaged. I see what that damage is. My whole last year was uh, helping people heal from the Ice Age from World War II and camps where people were, you know, done in with. And a lot of that stuff has to get fixed because those are really deep levels. So you can't just go on surface value with love either. You can't just be superficially spiritual where you're not somehow connecting to the high hurt that gives you that depth, that gives you that expansion. So the analytical side, using words that people really don't want to anymore, because unless you're a licensed health professional, which in which case you're still helping people to get better, okay? So, I mean, let's like call it what it is. You're either helping people to get better or you're just helping people to get better. I'm helping people to get better. I want to see people in love. I want to see people in the relationship that they're supposed to have. Love is not cold. That's, that's a tactic that people use, especially when they get hurt. They get cold. They put up their walls. They put up a cold front. Facial expressions. So I'm going to throw down a challenge here. Hey, ladies, smile at men. Smile at them and let your teeth show. Like really like, hi. Thank them if they hold the door open for you. Say thank you, sir. I guess... Gallantry is alive. I guess chivalry isn't dead. Say something, something appreciative, something encouraging, some acknowledgement. Hey, men, how about something to do for the ladies? Smile at them like you're, they're your sister and that you don't have to categorize everyone because <laughs> I know a lot of people do that. They, you know, men are really good at that. They kind of size up the situation. They can tell things. They do it instantaneously. It's a part of the analytical side of them, and it's a part of their um, part of their survival mode. Now, not everybody, but a lot of people. Sometimes it's even a part of their job, and they can't help it or they can't turn it off. They can't stop micromanaging or whatever. Okay, let's be appreciative of people's good qualities. Be non-critical. Okay, and. You don't need to have outbursts. You need to have your connection to the high heart so that this stuff lifts you, like you get lifted away from the stuff, okay? And the last thing, you know, don't be a jerk, okay? Don't think that this is being the goddess or this is being the god. It just isn't, okay? So are you feeling exhausted, rejected, hurt. I don't want you to feel like that. 
I have things that will help you. I have genuine things. Still not feeling it? Let me help shift your love energy with either a spirit chat or a spirit subtle body energy session for heart stress and fatigue. Just talk to me. See my great stuff. I recently was approved for my uh, work that I do, and it's some great stuff. It has been very helpful to people for years. And I've been doing this for about 13 years on this side and several years before that. And body work well from the time of a late teenager. So I've seen things evolve. I've grown with it. I have helped other people grow and be together with the person who is right for their heart. And I would love for you to have a wonderful uh, season Come and join and uh, reach out. The links are below if you would like a session. I strongly recommend having a session to shift things for yourself and to get your energy shifted or to do the this one here. This is actually for your spirit. And it is a little bit more than talk and I get guidance and I will get some things that are helpful specifically for you. I also run online classes uh, webinars, and I have a meditation that is perfect for this weekend. I call it the Hug Me, Hold Me, and the link for it is down below. So thanks so much for listening. Have a happy day, and remember, love is here for you. You're here to be in love. Let's not lose sight of that. Thank you. Bye.